Hello, welcome to the CEC News. This is Mrs. Walter. Morning. And I'm Mr. Ango. Today is Friday, November the 20th, and it's cycle day two. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's Mr. Payne with your weather questions. Hurricane Payne! Gove, Miss Walter, that was fantastic. AC hey, and Cole, we're outside today giving you the weather for your Friday and weekend. And as promised, we said that someone's going to come out and warm some things up, and it will today. You might not see any clouds today. At the high, it's going to be 60 degrees. Tonight, it's going to go down to 40 degrees. Saturday is going to very, look very much like today is. Probably be some more clouds up there, some cumulus clouds, some serious clouds, but the high is going to be 62. And then Sunday, well, the good weather ends on Sunday. We're going to have some stratus clouds start moving in, and the rain probably won't start until later in the day on Sunday, but we will be seeing some before the day's done. High only getting up to 49 degrees, and the low that night is getting to 46. Today's question of the day comes from C. Cole student Emma Newheimer. Emma asks, Mr. Payne, do cold temperatures give you a cold? Well, I'm experiencing some cold temperatures right now, but unlike what my grandmother believed, cold temperatures do not necessarily give you a cold. There's no correlation between cold temperatures and you really getting sick. You getting sick has more to do with viruses and germs and the reason people might get sick what scientists believe that people might get more sick in the winter time as they move indoors there is much more opportunity for people to pass germs back and forth to each other Emma what a great question and if you guys want some more answers on that one there's a good research topic for you thanks for that have a great weekend see you Cole why have you got that golden mic? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I have a bad joke. Bad jokes, bad jokes, Walter's bad. <laughs> oh. All right, go on. I actually haven't heard this joke yet, so this is a genuine facial response. Let's go. All right, so normally this time of the year, it's basketball season, so this is a basketball-related joke. Why did Cinderella not make the basketball team? because she ran away from the ball. Yeah, this one is a Thanksgiving related one. Out of all the animals in the animal kingdom, which one has the worst eating habits? Hippo? No, I could see why you'd think that. What did you say in the jungle? It, out of all the animals, oh, okay. all the animals that exist. I wasn't overly listening. <laughs> this is a usual. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Go on. Which one? A turkey, because they gobble everything up. Oh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> so talking of Thanksgiving, I was like, oh, we got to do announcements. So I was thinking, did you know I didn't grow up with Thanksgiving because I'm from England? So there's something called Harvest Festival. And I only remembered that because I looked it up on Trust the Internet just now. The heart, I, but now, it jogged my memory, we did used to do something similar to Thanksgiving, but on a different date. So here's some quick facts. Countries that Thanksgiving is celebrated on, on various dates. Brazil, Canada, Grenada, Liberia, St. Lucia, and the United States of America. There so they go. all celebrate our Thanksgiving in those countries, or they do their version of Thanksgiving? I think they do their own version of Thanksgiving. But there you go. If you're not sure, check it out and look it up. Some wonder, homework for you. I wonder what kind of feast they would have. Hmm. That's another thing to look up. Anyway, we hope you all have a fantastic day on Friday, Friday. November the 20th. Day <laughs> two. Un deux, deux in France. TGIF, guys. Enjoy your weekend.
have a great day today.